Are you looking to display your WooCommerce products somewhere other than just your shop page? Using simple short codes and blocks, you can show your products on any page or post. In this video, you'll learn how to do just that. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. WooCommerce comes with several shortcodes that can be used to insert content inside posts and pages. If you're using the Gutenberg editor, you can use the shortcode block and paste the shortcode in the field. Page builders like Elementor also have shortcode elements which can be used the same way. The products shortcode is the primary shortcode that can display products by post ID, SKU, categories, attributes, with support for pagination, random sorting, and product tags. Simply adding it to any page will display all the products on your shop page. However, you can control how it looks using a long list of attributes. These attributes along with their values can simply be appended to the shortcode in the brackets. For example, the limit attribute limits the number of products on display. So if you only want to display 4 products on the page, add limit equals 4 in quotation marks to the product shortcode. Now, only 4 products are on display. The columns attribute lets us choose the number of columns. Its default value is 4. Let's make it 2. As you can see, you can use multiple attributes at once to get more specific with your displayed products. By default, the products are sorted alphabetically. However, you can use the order by attribute with its values like date, ID, popularity, and rating to choose a specific sorting parameter. For example, using the popularity attribute value will sort the displayed products according to the number of purchases. You can showcase a single selected product by using its SKU or its product ID. While you're responsible for setting a product's SKU number, WooCommerce automatically assigns each product an ID that you find in the product list by hovering over one. If you want to show this school bag, copy its product ID. Then, add the attribute IDs along with the number as its value. Only the specified product will be displayed. If you want to display two or more specific products, just separate the product IDs using commas. You can also display products from a specific category by using the category attribute and specifying the category name as a value. Additionally, you can use the on sale attribute to display products that are on sale, the best selling attribute to display the top selling products on your store, and the top rated attribute displays the products with the highest ratings only. These attributes use the true and false values. Check out the article in the description to learn about even more shortcode attributes for WooCommerce products. The WooCommerce plugin adds a few product-centric blocks that can be used to insert products on a page or post. You can add products by categories, attributes, and tags. You can then select the categories to be included from the list below. You can control the number of products displayed using the columns and rows setting here. You can also choose whether the title, price, rating, and add to cart buttons are shown. Below, you can order the products according to your preferences. Popular page builder like Elementor also offers several product blocks with varying levels of customization. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.